Today we're going to make a wearable PCB heater which is inspired by Star Deck. I put everything in your suit, including this heater. To make this happen we need a heater that is thin and flexible. It will heat itself up by integrating a super long copper track inside a flexible PCB. But first I need to figure out how to combine it with clothes. Connecting one inside your jacket might be a solution but it's not a permanent one because how do you wash the jacket? There are some heated vests that are washable but I think separating the heater from the vest would solve the washing problem and also allow you to use any type of clothing. So I decided to start with making a simple proof of concept. I know it looks weird, but it's working. It kind of feels like a piece of armor. I think we need to fix the fact that this can flap around. I want to find a way how to attach this easily to the shirt. Magnets I think is the easiest way to do so. To fix this wiring mess we need to make a whole PCB vest using Altium Designer. It should be manufacturable, right? My PCB is going to be 70 by 30 centimeters big. Yep, that's big. This will fold into a vest that can heat me from both the front and the back. The thermal track ends up being longer than 30 meters. To power it, I needed to use a 4 cell LiPo battery, so I made this no thermal track area for the battery that also has a bottom stiffener to keep it cooler. All these stiffeners will also be used to attract the magnets. We also need some electronics to regulate the temperature and keep me safe from roasting up. I put the switching MOSFET and voltage regulator near the battery. This distributes power to the other side where I will have the rest of digital circuitry made from an ESP32, a temperature sensor and a 3 digit 7 segment display. This display will only be used for testing purposes as it won't be visible for the user. All the design files are available as open source and you can also get a free trial of Altium Designer by clicking the link in the description. Thank you PCB Way for manufacturing and sponsoring this humongous PCB. It fits. Now it's time for some soldering. So while the electronics is working, I did find a couple of silly mistakes. One of them is that I had the 7 segment display oriented the wrong direction. So I just had to remove the decimal points. I also found an issue with the LEDs because their pins are inputs only. So I just bridged one of them with another output. The software is controlling the temperature with a PID loop. By using two switches, I'm selecting a desired temperature so that it could heat things up accordingly. There is a little bit of a temperature difference between what the sensor is reading and the actual temperature of the heated area. This is happening because the temperature sensor is not located exactly underneath the track. I could have added the offset in software but I think having it right here will represent the temperature of the surrounding environment that is the clothes. So let's add the battery and try it on. It's getting hot. <laughs> now we can obviously wear it underneath a jacket. This makes it completely hidden from the real world. The heater kind of makes the jacket redundant, so I also tried wearing it underneath my sweater and it was still quite hidden. The bulky battery was the only thing that was uncomfortable. So it's kind of pulling it downwards, but I think magnets should solve this problem. I did some small magnets back to back, but with time these were sliding. As you're probably realizing, the battery is what makes this thing impractical to be used in everyday life. To reach 50 degrees, it needs at least 57 watts of power. So trying to get a slimmer battery while maintaining capacity is hard to do with the off-the-shelf batteries available today, unless you have some kind of arc reactor. A better option would be to divide the battery into four individual cells, putting two in the back and two in the front, and distributing the weight more equally. But this will limit the flexibility of the heater. It's a real shame because I really wanted to build some complimentary gloves and socks. If you have any other battery solutions, please leave it down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please remember to hit that like button. See you in the next build. Bye bye.